All right, good morning, Arkansas. This is Assistant Chief Forecaster Kevin back here once again. I'm here to give you guys your morning forecast update for today here. So uh, first and foremost, guys, we don't have much going on across the board here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get radar up uh, for you guys at this point here. So um, right now we got a couple of showers up here in far northeastern Arkansas. But other than that, guys, not much on the board uh, compared to what we saw last night here. We had some uh, showers and storms up here in far northern and north, uh, northeastern Arkansas, which produced almost four inches of rain near Jonesboro last night here. So right now we got 80 degrees in the metro here. We'll go back over uh, to our temperatures here. So let's take it back. We got 79 in the metro right now, 79 in Camden, 81 in Texarkana, 81 in Mena, 79 in Fort Smith, 73 in Fayetteville, and 72 in Mount Home at this current time here. So uh, we are still expecting the potential of isolated severe weather for today. The tornado threat, I want to be 100% clear about this, is 0% for today. We do not have a tornado threat for today. Uh, we don't have even a health threat. We just have an isolated damaging wind threat. But of course, if anything changes, we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, as the 8 a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time um, update just came out, uh, marginal risk still in effect uh, for much of Arkansas here. So we'll go over that in your future cast run here in just a moment here. But first off, we are going to talk about the tropics here. In the tropics right now, are a little bit interesting here, and I'm going to show you guys that here shortly here. So first and foremost, I've been talking about this over the last couple of days, and we're going to go over to visible satellite real quickly here. I'm going to show you guys uh, what's going on with Fred here. So Fred is barely, and I mean barely, hanging on to tropical depression status here because what's going on here is its western side has been taking a beating from dry air and upper-level shear, and I'm going to go over and show you uh, the water vapor imagery here and give you a better idea what I'm talking about. So the dry air is starting to slack off on the western side, so we should start seeing some shower and thunderstorm development start to develop on the western side of the system here. However, um, it has just been taking a battering. Ever since it crossed over Haiti and Dominican Republic, it's been taking a battering from the dry air and the upper level shear that's been in place here. So it's barely hanging on uh, to tropical depression status here. There was even some consideration yesterday uh, that we had thought we completely lost Fred because it it hardly had anything um, yesterday here. So uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Now, this track has gotten a little bit interesting here, and I'm going to show you why. All right, so for our folks in far northeastern Arkansas here, the track now includes far northeastern Mississippi County in Arkansas. That tells me right there that the track has been doing this. It's been going west and west and west and west and west over the last couple of days here. Because remember, the track was way over to Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee yesterday. Now it's including portions of northeastern Arkansas. So um, something that we're going to continue to monitor over the next couple of days here, I don't think it's going to be a significant shift towards the west. However, the one thing that is concerning me is the fact that we do not have a a full-blown tropical system down here. So the weaker systems tend to be the ones that always go to the west. There's always about a good 100 to 150 miles to the west here. So that's something that we're going to continue to monitor here. Um, the, the, the track, the line itself continues to indicate that this will be a Florida panhandle up to um, Alabama and the Georgia and the Tennessee uh, problem for the southeast. So we'll continue to monitor here, but the far western side of the track does include portions of uh, northeastern Arkansas saw here so uh, we'll watch the progression of Fred and if anything changes guys you guys will know uh, we'll keep you guys updated on that also um, back out here towards the east here we do have invest 95l which is forecast to become a tropical depression over the next couple of days here it's going to take the similar path as Fred here and we'll have to watch and wait and see what happens with invest 95l because if it does take the same path as Fred we won't have a cold front or an upper level trough in place, and that will help to uh, kind of steer Invest 95L either into the Gulf or into the Southeast here. So we'll watch and see uh, what happens with that system over the next couple of days here. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about your future cast run uh, for today here. And I'm gonna go back over to our day one um, and show you guys what's going on here. So this is the marginal risk uh, for today here, guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off the board, and I'm gonna show you guys the newest run of um, our model here. So uh, with that being said here, guys, um, this is going to be for later today here. Give me one second here. We'll see if I can get this um, off the board here. So give me one second here. All right. So 
All right, give me just a second. Okay, so there we go. So, um, so before this is about noon today here, it's gonna be pushed. Got some storms pushing off uh, to the east northeast here across Missouri here. Now, storms are not gonna take off for us here in Arkansas until later on this afternoon to this evening. So this is about two o'clock this afternoon. I'm gonna post this separately on the page. So that way you guys can have a better feel on timing. So um, this is about 2 o'clock, and then here we are at 3. 3 o'clock, you're going to start seeing storms really get going across northern Arkansas, north central Arkansas, from Marshall down towards Heber Springs, over towards Jonesboro. And keep in mind that these storms, not all these storms are going to be severe. Yes, they're going to be loud. Yes, they're going to have intense lightning, heavy rainfall, and some gusty winds. But not every single one of these storms are going to be severe here. So just keep that in mind uh, for today here. The margin risk stands for isolated damaging winds. Uh, more thunderstorm activity up here in northeastern Arkansas. And you guys saw almost four inches of rain yes, uh, just last night. So if this were to verify, I wouldn't be surprised to see more flash warnings up here. But uh, some of these storms could be severe, especially during the afternoon here. And then um, let me do something real quickly for you guys. I'm going to overlay this. Uh, what we call surface based cape or what basically in layman's terms means the overlay of um, instability that's going to be in the atmosphere here so we're going to have a good amount of instability in play for today here um, as you guys can see so this is about 6 p.m. here I'm going to take this off and show you guys just radar here so I just wanted to show you guys that instability value uh, for today here about 7 o'clock scattered showers all across the board here we got some down here in southern Arkansas some over here in northwestern Arkansas for today uh, for this evening here some in northeastern and we take this out to the night here about 8 o'clock here and that cluster storms up there in northwestern Arkansas will have to be watched because apparently if you go with this particular run um, it takes that cluster of storms and kind of pushes it down uh, towards uh, central Arkansas here so this is around midnight and you can see a line of showers and storms can begin to develop here across far northwestern Arkansas and western Arkansas here so if anything this will help to bring beneficial rainfall to us here in Arkansas this will not be a major severe weather day uh, for Arkansas some areas may see um, occasional isolated damaging wind gusts uh, for today especially across northern Arkansas here so we'll keep you guys updated on that we're not expecting a lot of severe weather for today but this will bring some beneficial rainfall and actually cooler temperatures as well here so your weather highlights for today more the same we cold front moves down starting late today increased rainfall chances we move towards the weekend the margin risk for much of northern and even portions of central Arkansas for today as well and also we're going to continue to monitor the progression of tropical depression Fred and also in invest 95L as well. So here's your morning regional outlook for today here. 60% chance to rain across the board except for far southern and southeastern Arkansas. I think you guys will see rain chances later today into the night. Uh, down there in southwest Arkansas it's going to be kind of isolated in the nature. Better coverage is going to be across central and northern Arkansas today with high temperatures in the upper 80s to low to mid 90s. Over that lows in the upper 60s, low 70s here. So we'll continue to keep you guys updated right here on your source for all things Arkansas weather.